Howard of Howard & Sons runs one of Australia's most successful pyrotechnics businesses. His company produces more than 600 displays annually and has provided expertise for high-profile events such as the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games, 2003 and 2011 Rugby World Cups. Andrew, a fourth-generation pyrotechnician, runs the company with his brother Christian. So my great-grandfather was a pioneer in the Australian pyrotechnics industry and his first major event was involved in the opening of the Sydney Harbour Bridge back in 1932. Probably didn't have the, anywhere near the variety of fireworks that we have today but over four generations we've developed a few secret um, family formulas that have developed over the generations and today we're using Still some of those very um, very old formulas, but in introducing a lot of new technology and how, how uh, new technology is applied to fireworks today. Research and development and computer technology are important components of the pyrotechnics business, but according to Andrew, what makes a display memorable is how you bring all of the features, including the use of space, colour, music and the element of surprise all together. Innovation is, uh, is certainly the key to producing creative displays and, and what people expect these days is to see something that they haven't seen before so it's this layer upon layer upon layer effect rising the ladder in relation to creativity and new effects and colours and patterns that we can produce so it's, um, it has changed an awful lot in 90 years that's for sure. Andrew Howard believes the future is bright for the world of pyrotechnics with room for plenty of innovation innovations that he hopes his company will lead. When it comes to um, unique venues where they may be uh, totally covered in, in snow and um, there may not necessar necessarily be uh, an entire cityscape to work with, it's then when we look towards unique effects and applying unique effects to, to um, live performers for argument's sake and, and, uh, and having live performers move around uh, an arena or a stadium and then have uh, spectacular effects come off them. Um, certainly something that was very um, spectacular at the Melbourne Commonwealth Games in the past with the opening ceremony of that. Uh, Delta Goodrum was performing in the centre and then the 58 rollerbladers performing around them in choreographed patterns and then they're illuminated with sparks of effects that we produced. It's, it's, I suppose it's coming up with the um, creative edge of how you are going to apply your art to that particular space and thinking of different elements that people aren't necessarily expecting to see.